So after making the connection, we are now ready to program the Arduino Uno for the ultrasonic range sensor. And this is actually the page that we use as a reference for our program. We're going just to use the same program as here. So let me open the Arduino. Okay, going to the Arduino folder, then dot slash Arduino. We can find the example of the ultrasonic sensor here. So we can go to sensor ping. Okay, so this is the same code that you can find in the tutorial, which can be also found here. Sensor ping. So this is ping.ino, the Arduino program that we will be using now. So let's see the structure of the program. First of all, we define a constant for the pin number. And here in this example, we have used pin number seven. And then we initialize the serial communication using serial.begin and to specify here the baud rate. So this is going to specify what is the speed of the data that will be exchanged through the USB port between the Arduino board and also the computer. In this case, the baud rate is 9600. After initializing the Arduino program, then we go to the loop method, which will implement the logic of the application. First of all, the signal pin is going to be configured to be used as an output pin because it's going to send the SHIRP signal. Okay, and this is now the structure of the SHIRP signal. We're going to send low pulse, then a high pulse, and then a low pulse. After sending this signal, the pin is going to be converted into the input mode so the same pin is used to read the signal from the ping and the high pulse whose duration is the time in microsecond from the sending of the ping to the reception of its echo of an object so this high signal is going to bounce back and then will be captured by by the echo transducer and based on this we are going to estimate the duration which represents the time from sending the high pulse until the time of receiving back the high echo and using the duration we can then estimate the distance either in inches or in centimeters okay so here you can find there are two methods one that converts the microseconds into inches and this is done by dividing the duration by 74 and 2 and you can also estimate the distance in centimeters by dividing it by 29 and two. So for example here, this is because the speed of the sound is 340 meter per second or 29 microsecond per centimeter. So the ping travels out and back. So to find the distance of the object, we take half of the distance traveled because there is a round trip time when it goes and return back. So this is why we need to divide by two here and here as well. And this value 29 is related to the speed of the sound in the air. Okay, so now everything is fine. We first compiled the program, so now we can see that the compilation is done. And finally, we will upload the program into the Arduino board. So you can see here that we have an error message that it cannot find the device TTY ACM1. So first of all, you have to make sure that the Arduino board is connected to your Ubuntu operating system machine. We have to select the board being Arduino Uno. So you can see there are different types of Arduino boards. In our case, we are using Arduino Uno. So we have to select this one. And the second step is to find the port. So here we couldn't find any port for the Arduino Uno board. I'm going to reconnect it again. And then, so I have this connection box and I will say connect to Linux. Once I do this, I can go back to port and now I will find that the Arduino board is connected on the port slash dev slash TTY ACM0. So this is Arduino Uno. I have to select this one. And at this time, I am able to upload the program now to the Arduino board, as you can see. Okay, so the program now is uploaded. And now we can use serial monitor in order to see the messages received from the Arduino Uno board. Okay, so here when you use serial.print is going to print them to the serial monitor. So as you can see here, this is the ultrasonic range sensor. And you can observe as I am approaching the sensor, the distance is going to decrease. Okay, so 9, nine centimeters, 6 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 3 centimeters and so on. So now I'm going to go away from the sensor and then you can see that the distance is going to 
increase gradually okay so you can see now the ultrasonic sensor is working pretty much fine and is now finding and estimating the distance to the obstacle of course now we are able actually to read the sensor values using the serial monitor but we cannot actually read the values from ROS and this is why we will use ROS serial in order to be able to get the information from the laser sensor directly into the ROS ecosystem okay so you can see now the Arduino board is not connected to the ROS ecosystem there is no connection between them and in the next video I'm going to show you how to use ROS serial in order to connect the Arduino board to the ROS ecosystem and start receiving the range information estimated by the sensor as ROS messages.